Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today we'll be talking about Season 4, Episode 26, Cheap is Cheap, starring Dennis Day. And um, this episode I think is the kind of episode that will probably either really work for someone or they'll think it's really silly. And uh, I gotta say, I was entertained by it. It really worked for me. It's definitely kind of a dark comedy episode. And uh, although it's a bit one note and it's kind of a one joke show stretched out, over 25 minutes or so. I thought overall it was solid. So we start with our host, Alfred Hitchcock, and we only see half of him on screen, and he says something about trying to save money, which was amusing and fits in the overall themes of the episode. So we start with our main character, Alexander, and he's our narrator, and he's already complaining because he didn't get a Christmas bonus. Uh, and he also says he's not a petty pincher, but uh, as we'll see throughout the episode, this isn't true. He definitely is. We're then introduced to his wife, Jennifer, and uh, Alex is upset because she's using uh, a three-way light, uh, obviously because it costs money. His wife also did some other things he doesn't like. She bought herself a birthday gift, even though we found out her birthday was a couple months ago. Uh, a little bit later on in the episode and she's also eating a steak things like that it turns out that his wife is happy because she found that Alexander had this money hidden away but he pleads with her not to spend any of it he says they need to save it all uh, for the future so at this point Jennifer also says she's tired of all this and that she wants a divorce and um, at this point, Alexander decides, with a little help from uh, Jennifer, that he's going to do her in or eliminate her. So Alexander goes um, to come up with some ideas to get rid of his wife. He decides he's going to hire a hit man, and things are going well when he's talking to this gentleman until he finds out that it's going to cost him a lot of money. I thought it was kind of an amusing scene where he thought it was going to cost him $5, but the hit man meant 500 Of course, this is too expensive for... Um, Alexander, so the hitman suggests he do it himself, but Alexander says he can't do that. You know, he doesn't really have the, the stomach for it or the guts for it or however you want to say it. So at this point, the hitman suggests poison, and Alexander thinks this is going to be a decent idea, and I immediately know where this is going. So we get this scene with this bizarre looking kind of mad scientist guy. Two episodes in a row where we have some. Uh, person that might be a bit unstable uh, concocting poisons. Probably not uh, probably not too great that Alfred Hitchcock presents. So anyway, this guy gets really excited when Alexander tells him that he wants to kill his wife. This guy explains this poison that he can concoct. The only problem is it's going to cost a lot of money, like $600, I think. So once again, Alexander decides uh, not to do anything in this method. I also thought it was interesting how Alexander decided this guy was crazy, but only he after only after he found out how expensive the uh, the poison was, you know, because everything about else about the guy was totally normal up to that point. Sure, Alexander, but to, to be fair, I don't think Alexander's all there either at this point. So. Alexander decides he's got this cheap method he's going to use food poisoning. So when he goes home, he poisons the ham, and his wife eats it, but he doesn't. I guess he says he wasn't hungry or something. He just ate soup or something they, they mentioned later in the episode. So shockingly, this works. I was a little bit surprised. His wife does get sick, but when the doctor comes by, he says she's not dead yet, and there's a chance that she might live, like it could go either way. So Alexander decides he can't take this chance, and I guess he finally gets up the nerve. Um, and he decides to do her in. He like smothers her. So the next day he's talking to the doctor again and I guess it looks like Alexander's going to get away with this. It looks like the cause is going to go down as food poisoning. But um, then Alexander finds out from the doctor that a funeral is going to cost money and of course Alexander doesn't want to pay any money for a funeral. So he decides instead that he's going to donate the body basically to a university and he actually makes money and that's kind of how our episode ends. Of course we get an ending where Alfred Hitchcock says he gets caught and he has to pay a fine which usually I don't like these tacked on endings but this one was kind of funny and kind of worked. This whole episode is kind of just dark humor. I think you'll either it'll just work for you or it won't. It did work for me although like I said it is kind of one joke just kind of drawn out but I found Cheap is Cheap entertaining, and I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Definitely not the deepest episode ever, or an episode that has the most substance, but overall I thought Cheap is Cheap was entertaining, so I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. As always, thanks for watching.